Hi guys, so I get super nervous doing these um, voiceovers and but today we're going to do another voiceover and talk about the Voyage Term 1917. So I didn't explain it well last time but this is the A5 which is um, basically like if you take a piece of regular printer paper and then turn it on its side and fold it in half that is the size of A5 that's what we're talking about it's 6 by 8 inches and this is the color new pink and I'm just kind of showing you my setup here I've just put my Instagram handle in there but I don't anticipate sort of having it outside the house but I've really enjoyed so here I what I've done to set it up is um, I've put the alphabet and I've given four pages for each letter and I've really enjoyed using the um, contents this way. I have looked at the Lurch term before and I've liked the contents but I've never sort of thought what I could actually use it for. So I've quite enjoyed that and then here I'm just kind of showing you the kind of intro page. I am just... You know I've just kind of um, sketched something and I was kind of using the dots there and trying to uh, measure that a little bit more accu accurately and so here is the title page for the actual alphabet and um, I am also going to show you I think that I have used uh, the small like my uh, really extra fine fountain pen, the Pilot Cavalier, with the smoky grey ink, so it's not very... Yes, yeah, so here's the pen. So it is it is really light ink, you know, it's not, it's not a dark ink. And you can still see that through, like you can see uh, when I turned it um, back to the front page, you can see the, the word alphabet through the paper. So you can see a bit of ghosting there, I mean there's no bleed through, but like that that word alphabet is ghosting even from the next page with nothing on the back of it so that's just something to consider about this notebook i am i'm enjoying it like i like the way that actually turned out uh but you know it's just something to keep in mind and here i'm just kind of showing you so i did a page of a's so that's what my pages i'm hoping will kind of look like you know for all the letters versus like here was my old moleskin and I just kind of it was a lot more haphazard I just kind of popped any letter that I thought of or that I saw you know on the double pages and I and I just left it at that but here I really want to sort of practice them a little bit more so I'm enjoying having the you know the space to do that and so I, I'm just kind of showing you here I wrote a little tiny sort of a on the page and then I just counted one two three four and then I would write like the b on the next page and I think um, one of the letters I messed up because the pages kept they kept sticking together so I would have to sort of recount and just check that but um, I think one of the letters it was actually I think d or something quite early on so I didn't, um, you know, so I have sort of one extra page in there for that. But um, as far as it goes, you know, it, it actually ended up taking up quite a lot of the book. And then at the end here, you can see I've kind of got the next sort of the last, you know, um, little bit of the book. Perfect practice makes perfect. And I have left, you know, I think it's about 30 pages or so just for some more line work and you know practicing strokes and things like that so I'm really excited about this book I think it's going to turn out really nicely and here actually I used that page in one of my last tutorials and it happened to be just the right you know page to sort of finish off the alphabet if I hadn't have done the extra page with the D it would have been exactly um, spot on and I and I didn't sort of plan that it just happened which was really a nice thing uh, but here I am just going to show you I'm not really sure I think we're still talking about the fountain pens and the way that they're bleeding through or not you know so this is a moleskin and I have been using actually the the pages so this is for New York and there's like map pages with street names and I've just been using those pages to kind of practice 
words to practice little illustrations and I've been really enjoying it. You can still see the street names behind it. Um, but I'm just showing you here that is the, I can actually flex the nib of the Cavalier which I was pretty excited about but it does bleed through when I do that. And that is the smoky grey ink and then on the other side I have um, tried it with the Lamy and I can flex that a little bit as well. So I think I'll just show you again uh, the pen in case you haven't seen it and you can see that that definitely bleeds through as well when you flex it because you're letting so much ink you know onto the page but uh, I still really I was really happy that I could sort of flex both of those I think that the Pilot Cavalier doesn't really like um, me doing that very much it seems to the nib sort of was so smooth when I got it it was a really really nice writing experience even for such a fine nib there was no you know scratchiness or any problems um, but every time when I flex it it does cause a little bit of a problem and then it sort of works itself out um, and then here I am just sort of wanting to do something on the front so I've just um, sketched up a little sort of my you know stone medallion kind of thing you know over the doorways of the nice sort of doors in Paris and the nice stone doors and what I've done what I'm doing is I'm getting a little tool for um, plaster work it's got like a little tiny ball on the end of it and I'm just kind of etching that into the book I'm not sure if you can see this I'm not sure if it will pick it up but um I just did that and then I just put glue and some glitter on on the top of it I think I actually re need to re redo it with some like super glue and a toothpick or something um, but yeah I am just enjoying having that little extra bit of glitter on the front cover there and, and I'm just enjoying the fact that I can you know pick up the book and I really love the table of contents so I can just, you know, pick up the book and see exactly where to flip to for like, you know, an M if I see an M or I want to practice that letter. So I'm really enjoying that. And this is kind of the end of the video and that was the glitter that I used from Michaels. Um, I, do, I do hope you enjoy it and I hope you have a really nice week. See you in the next video, guys. Bye.